For those of you who are taking El Curso de Nivelación during June 30th through August 5th, I uh, want to talk about a slight change that, um, that we'll be implementing for the last three weeks starting today, July 18th, 2022. Last three weeks of the course will uh, be in our virtual classroom. And I'm gonna ask that all of your assignments be uploaded to the virtual classroom. So I'm gonna show you more or less the organization of the uh, website. I'll show one course as an example, but uh, regardless of the course that you're gonna be taking, uh, it's gonna be very similar. So you'll notice that we're divided, uh, the course is divided into weeks. We have five weeks in total. And you'll see here that each of these blocks are labeled by week. So each of the weeks has corresponding assignments. For the most part, the assignments will be of two types. Number one, they will be a page with information about the task that you are to complete. And uh, the page icon is represented by, by this icon. So you, you can simply go into the page and uh, get information about the assignment. And then the assignment itself, this is where you'll be uploading your assignment, whether in the form of a document, maybe it's a PDF or, um, or maybe a Word document. In fact, in most cases, it'll be a Word document, not, not so much a PDF, or it could be a link uh, just follow the instructions based on the assignment, but again, most for the most part, it will be in the form of a Word document. So each of the weeks are organized uh, in a similar fashion. We have the title of the week with the dates and then the corresponding assignments for that date. So at this point, July 18th, we should have completed assignments for the first three weeks. So... Um, I'm going to ask that you just simply upload the assignments that you've completed thus far into the corresponding weeks. And uh, today we'll be starting with uh, week three that starts the 18th of July through Friday the 22nd. Okay, and so basically, again, you're going to be seeing two types of uh, resources in the virtual classroom. Number one, the page, again, giving general instructions, and then the assignment itself. Okay, so uh, let me know if you have any questions or any issues getting into the website. Uh, I think this will make it a little bit easier so that we, we can monitor both your grades and the course content all in one place. And so at this point going forward, please refer to the virtual classroom for all the course content and your grades for this Curso de Nivelación.